is feeling a little bit silly. Dead in the center, I have a slab of wood. <laughs> See that color? Everywhere. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. My name is Castellin, if you're new and if you're not, welcome back to another video. This is the first time I'm speaking within this day. I can just feel like my voice is sounding weird. I have been in a deep, deep cleaning slash decluttering rage since yesterday. Um, I just wanted to get rid of a lot of stuff that is cluttering the kitchen because it's so small and every space that I have is very important and I can't just be having stuff that I don't use. The decluttering process is both good and also bad in a way. Like once you get rid of stuff and you have the space and you can see like potential for new things and all that, it feels really nice. But the process of getting rid of the stuff, especially the what if I need it kind of, you know, mental gymnastics that you have to do because you keep on thinking, what if I'm going to need that later? That makes the process really taxing but i had to stay true to myself because if it's something that i have not used in the past six months some items i have not used even for a year and i was just like what if what if now nah. i got rid of a bunch of pots and pans that were like you know those uh, pots that i have the black coating i think it's called tefal or something and they were scraped off i already got a new pot set even that one is <laughs> <laughs> already getting old now but i still had the old pots and pans set so i had to get rid of those those old tupperware containers that i've started changing color because of going in and out of the microwave i had to let go of those as well bunch of empty jars pies containers stuff like that i really had to clear out so i'm done with the cabinets both in the top and in the bottom except the cabinet under the sink because i was saving that for last but today I want to clean out the fridge. I want to take everything out and just give it a good deep clean. And also I want to deep clean the oven. Elbow grease is going in today because also it's been a while. But yeah, I've been enjoying the cluttering. Even though letting go of stuff can be very difficult. And of course in life generally, if you want a more bigger and better you have to create space for it if you want bigger and better things if you want more out of life you have to create space for it so i'm creating the space for the things that i desire let me put something on to listen to and then go straight into cleaning the refrigerator i want to unplug it and deep clean it hopefully the frozen stuff i can move quick enough before the frozen stuff starts thawing out
So today I want to wash and deep condition my hair. So what I like to do immediately after taking off any style is to detangle first before washing the hair. So to detangle before washing, I'm going to use some conditioner. This is just regular conditioner. This is something that I never usually do. I don't like using home. I know that I don't like, I don't know much about home. Um, hair remedies and stuff like that like I don't know there was a time I'm sure at some point when we were all young we tried the avocado and egg and yogurt and all that but really I don't like doing all of that so this is something that I saw on YouTube I'm going to try it once and if I don't feel any different then I'm definitely not doing it again but I've seen that hibiscus powder does something for your hair i don't know what it is yet but here i have some hibiscus powder and this i have just mixed with the amla oil the amla hair oil so i'm going to do the hibiscus powder with conditioner 
and the almond oil this is already mixed with the almond oil it's just a powder and then i mixed it with the oil with the warm oil actually i warmed it up in a water bath and then i'm gonna add the conditioner the person i saw wasn't doing it with conditioner but i'm going to do it with the conditioner so we'll see if it does anything to improve my hair texture because dryness and brittleness is something that i really really have a problem with and of course that inhibits my hair growth my hair has been the same length or maybe even shorter now for the past two years i'm just going to pump the conditioner straight in there of course i need to do this down because this requires a lot of pumping and then use that to detangle and then put on a shower cap leave that for like 15 minutes and then now i can wash the hair i'm so afraid that the hibiscus powder is going to stain should i put on gloves no but gloves make things difficult i hope it doesn't stain my my hands I have a wide tooth comb and a detangling brush. A lot of breakage happens if you wash your hair without detangling. Detangling before washing just helps to make sure that when I go to wash my hair and I'm scrubbing and stuff, I don't create more knots. It doesn't look like it's going to stain actually, but the color is very scary. So I just like starting by pushing my thumb like my thumb through like that to separate the hair before I go in with any tools and then follow up with the white tooth comb starting from the bottom slowly working my way up then finish off with the brush I feel like the hair is not damp enough Looks like I'm dyeing my hair. Now I have to do that like 15 more times. Not to self, I'm never doing that again. I'm not doing that again. See that color? Everywhere. I feel like I need to clean up a crime scene. Give me the product that is ready. It's already done, it's packaged and sealed and I will use it. This home remedy stuff. Which is funny, considering how much I like doing DIY, except when it comes to this. This I don't get, because what is the levels, you know? Like how much, even the, the, the instructions that I follow doesn't say how much of the hibiscus powder that you need. I don't know, everything else I'm fine with DIY, but when it comes to hair products and skincare products, just give me the bottle, give it to me done and ready and uh, consumer certified because this this is not worth the trouble it's everything is red is it red it's maroonish but it looks like a crime scene anyway 
I digress. Let me clean up and then wash my hair. I was just about to rinse out the deep conditioner and then I realized I have no further products apart from oil I don't have any leave-in conditioner any butters or any creams it's just going to be literally a wash and go so I'm just going to rinse out this leave-in conditioner can't explain what happened but we ended up in twists that I'm about to diffuse. I did just regular twists and I want to just dry them at least to like 70% or if I can dry them all the way. The hair is still very very wet. I can just feel it's not close to being dry but I'm tired of holding the blow dry so I'm gonna go make myself something to eat and leave the rest to air dry. There's nothing more scary in life than when you take out your twists before they dry. <laughs> yeah, we survived. The twist out is twisting. It's pretty decent. At least it had enough time to dry. So this is what I'm going to be rocking for the next few days. I didn't know how to style it because my hair has very uneven length right now some parts are short some parts are long we are still working towards that trim we're still we're gonna get that trim soon enough but i pinned up the sides so it looks like i've shaved my sides but no but it's okay i don't mind it i like it yeah this is what we are working with today is going to be an artsy day I have a slab of wood. <laughs> I've been painting on canvases for a long time, but I wanted to try a different medium. So I went to Daiso a while back. I've actually had this thing for quite a while. And I caught, I bought a cutting board. This is a cutting board. Although, I don't even think this you can use functionally in a kitchen as a cutting board first of all it's so lightweight like it just it's flimsy it feels flimsy to me i don't know why they are selling it as a cutting board 
but me personally I got it to paint on it like who would use this as a cutting wood it doesn't even say which type of wood it is I don't know what type of wood it is but it's so this for me this is a blank canvas to be creative with I don't even know what I'm going to put on it but <laughs> this is the media medium this is the material this is the material for today I finished with my chopping board masterpiece. I don't know what was the inspiration behind this. Yin and yang of life. The lion and the lioness. And of course, the lioness is adorned with a beautiful floral crown. While the lion just thorns, I guess. Far situation. I still struggle so much with painting far. Sally. What's going on, man? He's feeling a little bit silly. Another day and the twist out is still going strong still holding on for survival so I wear this smart watch all the time this is a Fitbit watch I think it's called Fitbit sense or something like that I wear the smart watch because I like tracking the steps um, those little two achievements that it gives you throughout the day like your hourly goal like this one has an hourly goal like every hour you're supposed to take 250 steps so every time or if you haven't uh, taken the steps like you'll get a reminder get up and move stuff like that I also get notifications on this uh, my phone is on as a true millennial my phone is on silent I can't remember the last time I used the ring to run my phone so it's always on silent so when I'm wearing the watch I can hear it vibrate like there's so many benefits to having the smartwatch on it has a sleep tracker but I never wear it to bed because I just feel uncomfortable with something on my wrist when I'm sleeping so I primarily wear the watch during the day for its variety of functions but then I've noticed something happening recently there is like um I don't know what I can call it like the skin is 
getting some irritation and this is exactly where the watch usually sits like where the sensor of the watch is it sits exactly there so i'm wondering is this a thing of course i went and googled it quick fast because i just started noticing it like two days ago once you go to google and then you just search something simple like this then the next thing you know you have cancer and you have three months to live but from what i gather they're saying it's because of wearing it too tight or from the friction if you wear it often like of course when your hand moves the watch moves as well so it causes friction and then causes that i pretty much wear this thing the whole day like once i wake up i take a shower next thing when i'm putting on like my earrings my rings whatever the next thing that i slapped on my wrist is the watch and i'm just like and then with the smart watch it's not like a regular watch like a regular watch you can wear it as loose as you want because it doesn't have to be in contact with a certain part of your skin since you're just using it for time but for this one they say the sensor should be at least you know closer to the skin not loose so that it can be able to get the readings properly so i'm wondering like do i have to stop wearing the smartwatch to prevent this from getting worse because that is crazy look dead in the center that's that's just crazy to me now i don't know what i can apply to it but my skin has just been acting up of lately with the eczema so maybe the watch is making it worse particularly for this part of my hand i don't know so i'll have to forgo my little daily motivators to get up and keep moving and stuff like that i think i will take a break from wearing the watch for like a week and then see if this thing will disappear that's sad i didn't really like the small reminders but i don't know it's become such a natural part of my accessories my day like and then when I want to look for my phone, sometimes I put my phone down, I can't find it, I just use this to look for it. Just, there's so many conveniences to it that I don't want to give it up, but let me give it a week and see what happens. I can't track my steps anymore, that's sad.